This is an introduction to buoyancy. As a summary, the force of buoyancy on an object is equal to the density of the fluid it is immersed in times gravity times the volume displaced by the object within the fluid. In a previous video, I have derived for you the principles and results of hydrostatic equilibrium. It started with a sample volume within the fluid of differential depth dh for which we have applied the conditions for hydrostatic equilibrium starting with a free body diagram for all the forces acting on the object. These forces included the gravitational force Fg, as well as forces due to pressure from both above and below. The magnitudes of these forces are given as such. Note that the force of gravity is due to the mass of the sample volume, while the force due to pressure is due to the surrounding liquid. But notice that the enclosed object does not have to be a sample volume of the fluid itself. However, the forces due to pressure would remain the same regardless of the object, as long as the fluid is the same. This can give us a shortcut for the force due to the pressure differential. And it is this force that we refer to as buoyancy. The force of buoyancy always acts opposite the direction of increase of pressure. In this case, pressure increases going down. Hence, the force of buoyancy is upward. In my previous video, I have derived the expression for the increase of pressure with depth h for incompressible fluids. If we backtrack, backtrack the derivation through the area of the sample volume that was common to all terms, we get back the forces. We get the differential pressure force equal to the expression on the right, which includes the volume in the fluid. The volume of the object that is submerged in the fluid is known as the displaced volume. Buoyancy force is stated in Archimedes' principle. Archimedes' principle says that an object immersed in a fluid 
will experience a force upward equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. It is important to note that the object might have different density from the fluid and the buoyancy force only applies to the volume that is immersed in the fluid, not necessarily the total volume of the object. Here is a simple application of Archimedes principle. We have a block of an unknown object of height one meter immersed in pure water of density 1000 kilograms per cubic meter. It is floating steadily with 0 0.8 meters of its height submerged. To solve this, start with the free body diagram. Because the object is floating, it is not accelerating in the y direction. Insert the forces. Substitute in for the forces. Notice that displaced volume can be expressed as area times the depth to which the floating object sinks. And the mass of the object can be expressed as its density times its volume. And that volume is equal to the area times the height of the entire object. We can simplify and solve for the unknown. Finally, we plug in numbers with units and solve the problem. In this case, the density of this unknown object is 800 kilograms per cubic meter. It is important to note that the buoyancy force still applies even if there are other forces also acting on the object. In the original legend of Archimedes's principle, a crown was suspended in water by a string, hence both buoyancy and a tensional force was acting on it to hold it up against its weight. It is also important to note that the buoyancy force can still be applied even for objects that are not stationary but are accelerating, such as a submarine expelling water in an emergency surfacing procedure.